Hi, this is Meloism and this is a short guide on how to begin with LVUI. The first thing we do is to make a backup of our current user interface. So if we regret the change to LVUI, it's easy to just go back to the way you had it before. The way we do this is by going into the game folder. If you didn't change this when you installed the game, it's in the folder program files x86 within your C drive. Here you mark the folders WTF and the interface. Right click and choose cut. Then I go to my own backup folder on my other drive. Here I create a new folder. Let's call it YouTube. And then I paste them here. All right, when this is done, you should start the game. We do this because once the game starts, it creates a new WTF and interface folder. You'll notice that once the game starts, all of your settings have been reset. And it's like you started a game for the first time. All right, the folders have been created. I can now exit the game. Now you open your web browser and you just Google LVUI. Choose the first link that pops up. And on this page, you have the options to download both TUC UI and LVUI. But we're choosing LVUI here. As soon as it has been downloaded, you open it and extract it. I'm using WinRAR, but you can use Windows own extract function. The destination folder is the add-on folder within your interface folder inside your game folder. And now you start the game again. The first time you start up your game with the LVI folders correct extracted to your add-on folder, you are greeted with the LVI installation. This is a quick process to set up the UI with your preferences. All right, so here you just press continue, press set up CVARs and then continue. The same with chat and then press continue. Next up, you get to choose between three different color themes. The themes changes some of the items of the UI, for example, the health bar. Classic, dark and class. I'm going to go with dark here, but this is something you always can change in a later state. Next is resolution. And that depends on what resolution you run your game at. I run mine at 1920 x 1080, so it recommends me to choose high. Then you have some different layouts to choose from, depending on your role. I main as a tank, so that's what I'm choosing here. And the final step is choosing what kind of aura system you would like. If you look at my Pridas buff for example here, you can see that when I change, it goes from a bar to just an icon. I like to have the bar, so I'm going with that. Alright, next you just press finish and the UI reloads and it's done. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful and if you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Yeah.